Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on the 3D printer. Well, first off, I wanted to reassure you that we'll be going back to electronics soon. Uh, I just had a little bit of a diversion with this, I think. I got very excited. I've printed loads of things. So I was going to run through a few of them so that you can see what I've been doing. Uh, the exciting bit will happen when we start using this 3D printer alongside the electronics project. So at the moment, I've been printing silly things like this dude. He is the Fallout Boy. I also printed Fallout Boy. That's a band, isn't it? This is the Vault Tech Boy. Uh, so I printed a little version because I wanted to see how the printer worked, my first print. And then I printed a larger version. I was trying to save on filament because I'm really cheap. Uh, and he's came, come out great, really. Um, he's got quite a lot of this cobwebbing, which is a result of me having the printer too hot. Uh, but I've adjusted the, my temperatures. I printed out um, this phone stand. So you, you pop your phone on there so I can have it on my bedside table. And that came out really, really clean. No cobwebbing at all. Uh, I also printed out this. This was the most exciting thing. You can see a little time lapse of it now. Uh, this is sort of a, an adjustable platform. So you can unscrew the part of this this part here and screw it up and it raises and lowers the platform now this printed in one go so it printed if I just unscrew it all the way it printed on the bed like that in fact just like that and that's how it printed and then you just sort of give it a wiggle and you turn the screw and it worked straight out the bat, straight off the bat. I was very impressed that you can print mechanical parts on a 3D printer when they're already put together. I also printed um, something for, a, it's a, like a filament stand. So I've got filament in the machine, but it's a proprietary reel that fits in here. And not all of the reels come, or spools rather, come in the correct size. So I printed off uh, these two parts here. I separated them. Um, so that it fits on the bed and then you pop ball bearings in and it becomes like a runner so you can run things across there so you'd sit the reel on top uh, so here's my painter's tape so you'd sit the reel on there and it would roll around very cool that isn't to say that everything's run very smoothly um, I have a number of failed prints there's a lot of junk on here this is most of this is raft material so those those bits were printed out on this raft um, but also I tried to print that mechanical thing uh, smaller 50% of the size unfortunately it meant that some of the parts fused together and it wouldn't work in fact this one is fused completely fused this uh, this section here is fused so it won't turn and unfortunately it meant that that one was ruined uh, and that was two hours I think it took to do that this one took about four hours this guy took about two, uh, they're about the same for this one. I picked all of these little designs up from Thingiverse. Uh, it's a great place where people share the models that they create and you can download them and print them. And because they're in sort of STL format, you can modify them as well. I've been using the Autodesk suite of software. So that's Autodesk 123D, uh, Mesh Mixer, and there's one that's called 123D Catch, which helps you make three, 3D models from pictures. Um, I've not gone into that properly yet, but I'm hoping to do a 3D model of a friend of mine's head, which I thought would be really interesting. I've had various problems with things not sticking to the bed, with corners peeling up because uh, it's cooling too quickly. Um, a lot of that's been solved by using this blue painter's tape on top of um, the material that came with the printer. Uh, I found that I can reuse that painter's tape a number of times, so I don't need to keep reapplying it, which is good because this reel cost about £7, so I don't want to have to use too much of it. Still, there's an awful lot on the reel, so I don't need to worry too much. There's certainly a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to 3D printing. It's not as easy as plug and play uh, or knock up a design in SketchUp and expect it to work. It's a little bit more difficult than that, and hopefully, as I'm learning, I'll be able to show you, but I do promise that I'll keep this channel to mostly electronics and not 3D printing. But for now, I've had such a great time with this and we will be printing things to go in my projects like this uh, one that uh, was printed for me uh, for my Sunsafe. Uh, I've since dismantled it. 
I wanted to use the parts or the solar panel for something else. Okay, well, thanks a lot for watching. We'll get back to the normal schedule. Uh, there's not really a schedule. I mean, normal category of, uh, of videos soon. Gertrude and I, uh, this is Gertrude, uh, say, say thanks. Uh, if you'd like to see more 3D printing videos, and I'm happy to oblige, just let me know in the comments. But we'll be going back to some electronic stuff uh, very soon. Hopefully I'll get started on a few videos next week.